Mark, a quick turnaround. Dagging them away tomorrow. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yep, they're quick succession, and they the Christmas the Christmas period is always a, always a busy one for football. So uh, yeah, we don't we don't get too much time to uh, reflect on the last game. We're straight back into action. Uh, another another real tough game. Dagenham Dagenham away is um, a difficult place to go to, and um, they've had a, a great t start to the season. I think they got hurt with a, a long injury list like like ourselves. Um, but you know, like I said, they're one of the stronger teams in the league. That is for sure, and we're going to have our work cut out. But you know, we go into every game confident. We go into every game looking forward to it, and we're we're excited by the the challenges that this league brings every week. Of course, with the good form we're in, you know, seven unbeaten, six in the league. How important is that with the hectic Christmas period that we continue that over the next few weeks? Yeah, we've got to keep that that momentum going. Um, you know, a week's a long time in football, especially over Christmas. You know, if you don't get points on board, that's three almost chalked off. Um, so, look, we 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 picked up a point yesterday, and with something we we want to build on. Um, we're going to have to be at our very best against Dagenham. Um, the, the, the turnaround and the fixtures are always so quick. Um, you know, it's the relentless uh, nature of the league, especially over the Christmas period. So we're going to have to get that balance right of um, looking after people. Because we've got some people starting to come back now who, who really need looking after. And we've had some players who have gone game on, game in and, and putting in a real big shift. So um, we've got to be careful because we've been so cruelly hurt by uh, our injuries this year um, that we've got to try and deliver people back fit, um, keep people fit and healthy as much as we can. And, and that's without the nature of what's going on in the world at the moment. So uh, the more players we can get minutes into and, and build up to fitness, the more we can look after the ones that have had a lot of games. And then hopefully going forward, we'll have a real strong squad to choose from. Of course, following Saturday's game, or Sunday's game rather, it sees Alfie Saunders miss out from the game. So no doubt plans will be put in place to fill in that role to, uh, on tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that, that position opens up. Alfie's done well when, it, when, it, when he's come in. Um, and he's going to be serving a suspension now. So um, that shows how important the, the squad is and the, and the depth is and, and how everyone's getting called upon. And, and everyone's just as important as each other. And um, we're going to need each and every one of them throughout, um, from, from now to the end of the season. Of course, Giles did return on Saturday. No doubt, you know, Kevlock or other ones like that will down to be returning over the next few weeks. So it's, it's competition for places now. Yeah, absolutely. And um, look, we, we've also got to be careful that those players, you know, a couple have come back and some aren't back yet. So um, we can only concentrate on the here and now. We can only concentrate on, on Dagenham tomorrow. And that's what we'll be preparing hard for now. Um, but yeah, look... It could it could look good in a, in a, in a month or so, but um, in football you never count that um, until until they're there, they're back, they're fit, and they're playing. Um, but yeah, it was, it was great to have Giles back. Like I said, Giles, um, you know, done well getting through 90 minutes. Ben Schroll done that the week before. So all of a sudden, that, that that's two players who have got minutes under their belt and back. But we have to be careful. We have to look after them. Can't go too quick, too soon with them because we can't afford to to lose anyone at this stage. Focusing on Dagenham a little bit, what sort of test do you expect from them? Oh, they'll, they'll test you in a range of ways. Um, you know, they're quite clear in, in in how they work and what they do, and they're very effective in it. Um, and they got they got a way of changing it up as well um, to to present different challenges. So um, look, lots of good players, lots of things to uh, for us to be wary about. But look, we've, we're a tough nut to crack now. We've got to continue to build on that, be solid, but then also ask our own questions as well. And I think that's what disappointed me in the first half on Saturday. We probably didn't ask as many questions as, as we would have liked. Second half, we certainly did. Um, so we're going to be looking to sort of finish, uh, start the game a little bit more how we finished it. As we approach the new year, obviously January transfer window, things like that, players move all over the place. You know, one of our own players, Ibi Akambi, has gone to Dagenham now. Both on Ibi, what are you expecting? You know, a nice return for him, and also what are you expecting in January? Well, look, January's, you know, the window opens up above us, um, so that always probably puts a little bit more movement into the transfer market. We we'll always look at ways to be to strengthen ourselves or try and improve any which way we can. But I'm fully focused on the players here. I think they're doing a, a great job under difficult circumstances. What we've been through the last few months, our injury list, and people are, you know, really working hard. And we're, and I think the biggest thing I always focus on is, is what's in the building, who's available, and and how we can make them better. Um, you know, we're, we're always very diligent. We're always doing our, our homework. We're always trying to prepare the best we can. And if we felt that there was something which could improve us, then we'd always look to maybe look to do that. But at the moment, I'm fully focused on the players which are here and doing a, doing a great job and improving them day in day out.
Of course, last season we had a good time, 2-0 win against them, and no doubt you'll be expecting a similar sort of result again tomorrow. Well, you know, we'll only get that result if we're at our very best, so we'll be strongly concentrating on our processes, looking for a couple of tweaks, a couple of improvements from our last game, and, um, yeah, putting our best best foot forward and, uh, you know, asking, like I said, asking more questions of the opposition and uh, making sure that we're, we're strong and tight ourselves out of possession. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.